Yes, all of you welcome to another uh, session of the uh, the concept of probability and random process. Uh, previously, we discussed about the uh, ideas of uh, independent events, mutually exclusive events and uh, some results corresponding to that here. And uh, today, we will discuss some more uh, problems related to that idea again. Uh, you see that the first problem here, a problem in statistics given to uh, three students A, B, uh, C, A, B, C whose chances of solving the problem are uh, 1 by 2, 3 by 4 and 1 by 4 respectively. Problem of solving the problems uh, by three students A, B, C are given by these probability values. They are asking that uh, what is the probability that no one will solve the problem, only one will solve the problem and the uh, problem will be solved again. In that manner they are asking the idea again. The probability of solving the problem by three uh, members uh, given by this probability. Therefore, we can solve this problem with the help of uh, this idea here. And you see that here what are the values are given here. Probability of A, the problem solved by uh, the person A will be 1 by 2. Probability of B is given as uh, 3 by 4. And uh, probability of solving the problem by the person C that is given by 1 by 4. Again. Therefore, correspondingly, uh, you see that here we can identify correspondingly its complement values here. It is will be 1 minus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and then probability of B bar. Probability of B bar is equal to 1 minus uh, 3 by 4, 1 by 4 and uh, probability of C bar. Probability of C bar that is equal to 1 minus 1 by 4, 3 by 4. Uh, in the first question they are solving independently that condition is also given here. Therefore, uh, if A, B, C are independent, correspondingly A bar, B bar, C bar also independent events. In the first uh, condition, they are asking that what is the probability that no one will solve the problem. Again? What is the probability that no one will solve the problem. In that manner, uh, they are asking that here. No one will solve the problem. Again. No one will solve the problem means uh, all the three persons not able to uh, solve these problems. Again. Not able to solve this problem. Solving the problem will be given as A, B, C. Therefore, not solving the problem by A bar, B bar, C bar here. Therefore, A bar intersection B bar, all the three not solving the problem here. Therefore, because of they are independent here, therefore, uh, they are complement even also independent here. Therefore, they can be written as a product of uh, all the three. Here. A bar intersection B bar intersection C bar, that can be written as A bar, B bar, C bar here. Product of these values here. Therefore, product of these values means 1 by 2 uh, into 1 by 4 into 3 by 4, 3 by 4. Therefore, your answer will be 3 by 32. Your answer will be 3 by 32. Therefore, uh, in that manner, we can get that gate. Uh, then, you see that here in the second subdivision, they are asking that, uh, what is the condition they are asking here? Uh, only one will solve the problem. What is the probability that only one will solve the problem? Only one will solve the problem. Only one will solve the problem and then only one will solve the problem means uh, A only solve the problem here, B and C not solve the problems here. Therefore, in that case you can get uh, A intersection, B bar intersection, C bar here. and then this is one idea. Similarly, B can solve the problem but uh, A and C in that case uh, not solve the problem here. Therefore, A intersection, B intersection, C bar here. Similarly, third case also possible here, A bar intersection, B bar intersection, C, A bar intersection, B bar intersection, C. Therefore, these events are mutually exclusive events. These events are mutually exclusive events here. Therefore, we can write it as uh, A intersection, B bar intersection, C bar plus A bar intersection, B intersection, C bar plus uh, A bar intersection B bar intersection C intersection C because of they are independent here independent therefore uh, they are complement even one is complement other is com not complement in that case also they are independent here. they are independent here therefore in that manner you can get that here. in that manner you can get that here then uh, you can write it as uh, A probability of A into probability of B bar into probability of C bar similarly because of independent even here A bar into B into probability of C bar. Similarly, here is also A bar uh, into P of B bar into P of C, P of C. Now, substitute all the values one by one here. A bar, B bar, uh, C bar value. 
in that case you can get uh, your answer for this problem will be 13 by 32 okay 13 by 32 similarly uh, we have the third uh, subdivision that third subdivision what is the chance that they are asking that uh, problem will be solved okay? they are asking that problem will be solved probability that uh, problem will be solved okay? problem will be solved problem will be solved means uh, you can consider either A solve the problem or B solve the problem or uh, C solve the problem or all the three, all the two in that manner or two members solve the problem in that manner can consider. Therefore, in that case, you can use probability A union, B union, C. So, by D Markens law, you can, uh, by commonly meant, you can write it as uh, A union, B union, C whole bar. 1 minus P of A union, B union, C whole bar. By commonly meant even here. Then by D Markens law, you can write it as A bar, intersection B bar, intersection C bar. This is by De Morgan's law here. Therefore, you can get it as 1 minus uh, P of A bar into P of B bar into P of C bar into P of C bar. Now, substitute all the values here. Then you can get it. already you know that uh, it will be 3 by 32 here. Therefore, uh, the chance will be 29 by 32. Here. In that manner, you can uh, get that. Here. In that manner, you can get that here. This is the idea of uh, solving all the uh, 3 uh, cases here. no one will solve the problem only one will solve the problem and similarly uh, problem will be solved here. problem will be solved here in that manner we can get that similarly uh, we have the another uh, problem that a lot contains 10 items out of which uh, 3 are defective a lot contains 10 items out of which 3 are defective 3 items are chosen from the lot one after another 3 items are chosen from the lot one after another at random without real you are taking one item and then uh, another not replaced another item and another in that manner find the probability that all the three are defective here. they are asking that find the probability that all the three are defective here contains 10 items out of which three are defective three items are taken one by one without replacement find the probability that all the three are defective that will be very uh, simple idea you can use here you can use simple idea find the probability that all the three are defective all the three are uh, defective Already the box contains uh, 10 items here in which uh, 3 items are defective. Therefore, first item also is defective, second item also defective and third item is also defective. All the 3 are defective. Uh, they have taken one by one without replacement here. Therefore, already first uh, A is uh, taken, not replaced here. Therefore, B's probability now is depends on already taken uh, A probability here, taken A probability and then second one. Uh, third one is uh, C will be taken and then what is the chance it is also defective already A and B both are taken. Initially three defective items here taking one defective item from the three out of ten it will be three by ten your answer will be three by ten. Now one uh, defective item already taken therefore number of defective item now it is reduced to here two number of uh, item also total item also reduced to here it will be two by nine here. Similarly now both the defective items taken outside here. Now only one defect item is there but uh, total number case also reduced already two items are taken here. Therefore in that manner you can get that here. Therefore your answer will be 1 by 120. Your answer will be 1 by 120. In that manner you can uh, get the idea for this problem. Idea for this problem. And similarly if you consider the another uh, uh, problem here and then uh, it will be a problem number 3. Problem number 3. Uh, a consignment of uh, 15 items, a consignment of 15 items uh, contains 4 defectives. A consignment of 15 items contains 4 defectives. Uh, also given that the items are selected, the items are selected uh, at random one by one and tested. Those items are not put back. Those items are not put back. What is the probability that uh, the ninth one examined is the ninth one tested is the last defective. Ninth one tested is the last uh, defective. A consignment of 15 items contains 4 defective here. The items selected at random 1 by 1 and tested. They are selecting items 1 by 1 tested. Uh, the items, uh, those uh, tested items are not put back. Those uh, tested items are not put back. Then they are asking there what is the probability that 9th one examined. 9th one examined is the last thing. Therefore, out of 15 items, here, out of 15 items, uh, 4 are defective. That is already you know that here. Therefore, how can you identify uh, solution for this uh, problem here? Uh, you see that here, given uh, out of 15 items, 4 items are defective, 4, uh, 4 are defective here. Out of 
15 items out of 15 items 4 are defective here out of 15 items 4 are uh, defective items here therefore in which uh, they are asking that uh, the items are taken one by one and uh, checked uh, and not replaced uh, they are also tested here whether it is a defective item or not they are asking that what is the chance that 9 to 1 exam result has to Therefore, you define a probability in the simple manner. In the simple manner, you can define the probability that what manner here? Let A be the event of, let A be the event of getting, because uh, they are asking that ninth one exam is the last defective. Therefore, uh, only four defectives are there here. Therefore, now, for, now define that A be the event of getting three defective items. A be the event of getting three defective items. 3 defective items out of uh, 8, 8 examined items here. out of 8 examined uh, items here. 8 examined items here therefore in that manner you can consider then you can easily uh, you can proceed here therefore what is the chance of happening of this A here? therefore A be the event of getting 3 defective items here out of 8 examined things here therefore so far 8 uh, things are examined again in the totally 15 8 things are ex examined here therefore you can use uh, 15 C8 here in which uh, you are going to consider three defective items are taken here. Already four defective items are there. Therefore, 4 C3. You can use 4 C3 into 8 items are taken, 3 are defective. Therefore, remaining 5 from the good one here. Remaining 5 from the good one here. Therefore, it will be 11 C5. 11 C5. In that manner, you can get that. Here. 4 C3 into 11 C5 by 15 C8 here. If you expand this one in the NCR form here, then you can get the answer as yeah, 56 by 195. For this one, you can get to 56 by 191. Now, the condition is that items are uh, tested, are not replaced. Here. Items are tested, not replaced here. They are asking that ninth one exam is the last debit. Therefore, you can define one more event now here. Now, B be the event, B be the event of uh, getting another defective item. Here. B be the event of getting a yeah, defective item, defective item, already A is happened, already A is over here, item already A is over, A is happened, A is over here, therefore what is the idea you can use here, therefore you can use conditional property, because already A is over, based on that only you can consider, already A is over means 8 items are examined here, therefore remaining 7 only there here, Therefore, 7. In the 7, you are going to pick only 1. Therefore, 7 C1 here. You are going to pick only 1, 7 C1. And uh, you see that here, only 1, already 3 defect items are taken here. Therefore, only 1 here. Therefore, 1 C1, 1 only here. Therefore, your answer will be 1 by 7. 1 by 7. Therefore, in that case, uh, they are asking that what is the chance that 9th one examined is the last subject. Therefore, probability that Ninth one examined. Ninth one examined is the last defective. Ninth one examined is the last uh, defective means uh, what manner you can consider. Uh, A contains eight examined items, one, three defective here, and B is the another defective item. Already A happened here. Therefore, we must have A intersection B. Eight, three defective items, and the last defective items. Here. Already A happened. Therefore, this will be probability of B given A, already A is happened here, therefore it will be 56 by 195 already and then 1 by 7, your answer will be like that here, therefore your answer will be 8 by 195, this is the idea you can get that here, this is the idea you can get that here and then we can stop this session up to these three problems here and we will discuss further problems one by one here.